On April 26, 1986, at 1.23 a.m., reactor number four at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant located near Pripyat in Ukraine exploded. Further explosions and the resulting fire sent a plume of radioactively contaminated fallout into the atmosphere and over an extensive geographical area. The initial evidence that radioactive material was affecting other countries came on April 27th from Sweden. The fallout drifted over parts of the Western Soviet Union, Europe, and was even detected in Eastern North America. Many of the fire and rescue workers who tried to bring the accident under control suffered from acute radiation sickness. A monument to the workers who died has been erected in Chernobyl City, funded by the families of the workers rather than the government. It bears the inscription, for those who saved the world, and is a testament to the human sacrifice and cost in the development and control of technology. In the beginning of the 20th century, there were three Orthodox churches, a synagogue, one Old Believers Church, and one Catholic Church. Besides Jewish schools, there were two Orthodox schools and one small Catholic school, a hospital, and a pharmacy. This church is currently under a restoration process intending to recover its original beauty. Radioactive fallout from the disaster poses a health risk to people even today because the particles build up in the food chain cycle much more rapidly than they can decay. The power plant at Chernobyl is next to the river Pripyat, which leads into one of the largest surface water systems in Europe. Contaminants from the plant which made their way into the drinking water system were a major concern for months. Accumulation of radioactive particles made fish from these water systems unsafe to eat for years after the accident. At the time of the meltdown of the fourth reactor, two additional reactors were under construction, but the construction efforts were abandoned. The cooling towers for the reactors are a short distance away. Approaching the fourth reactor, ambient radiation levels rise exponentially with every step. At a distance of only a few hundred meters, these levels are approximately 40 times greater than normal. The disaster required the forced and immediate evacuation of over 300,000 people from the area, including approximately 50,000 residents of the nearby sister city, Pripyat. The amount of fallout affecting the cities of Chernobyl and Pripyat, as well as the rest of the world, is highly debated. Russian authorities downplay the amount of negative effects of the disaster, stating minimal damage to the reactor and surrounding ecology, while extremists state that the entire core of the reactor was vaporized into the environment, releasing as many harmful radioactive particles as possible.
families were forced to leave almost everything behind. Today, the exclusion zone has been declared as a nature reserve by Belarus. The same has been proposed by Ukraine. There is a lot of bias and political interest in the way of a clear answer, but a visit to the abandoned city of Pripyat is enough to establish to anyone that the meltdown of the nuclear reactor at Chernobyl is possibly the worst technological accident in history.